my YouTube family. It's your man Emmanuel Rutledge with By All Means Fitness and Beyond Fit Health. Real quick, I want to talk to y'all about fat versus inflammation. And I want to do this because a lot of times there are some people who struggle with losing weight and they work out a lot and they don't even eat that much and they have an issue with losing weight. So if this is you, I want to help you out a little bit. So let's understand the difference between fat and inflammation. Now, if you are this type of person who's struggling to lose weight, then nine times out of 10, what you're dealing with is inflammation. Now, what we know about fat is fat is a cell that grows in strength. Inflammation is swelling. All right. So the main role of inflammation is to whenever we get like a bruise on our body or we bump our arm or something, it, it causes inflammation. It causes it to swell so that it can heal. However, when we eat certain foods and our body don't react with it the, with it the right way, it causes swelling with inside our body. So we know that uh, inflammation comes from swelling and eating certain foods. So we're gonna talk about that. Um, we know that we get rid of fat by working out. Okay. And the reason why you can't get rid of inflammation by working out is because you can only get rid of inflammation by diet. You're gonna have to diet. Now the foods that will cause inflammation within our body are like processed foods, like processed meat, uh, hamburgers, Winnie's, uh, bologna, sliced ham, things like that. Um, corn is definitely super inflammatory, so you want to stay away from corn and reheating food up. So when you uh, heat something up, then you go back and you heat it up again on food that's already been through a heating process to where they have to keep reheating and reheating it, which is a lot of your processed foods. This stuff causes swelling within our body because our body don't know how to handle it. Because when you reheat something, you change the very uh, structure of it. And uh, it, it, causes, it causes it to be violent towards our body. If you try dieting, try eating less amount of meat and make sure that you eat a lot of vegetables and fruits because those are things that are, that are going to be uh, anti-inflammatory and that's going to help remove the inflammation from your body. Also, black seed oil is very good for uh, inflammation within the body and uh, turmeric is very good for inflammation in the body. Ginger, cinnamon, uh, maca root, ash, ragona, fenugreek, all of your herbs are going to be very good for uh, anti-inflammatory and it will help move some of the inflammation from your body. So how will you know for sure if you have inflammation or not? Because we know that fat is soft. It's real soft and flabby. However, inflammation is hard. So it's like hard fat. So you may think, like some people, they think, you know, oh, I'm more solid because, you know, the weight that I have is not flabby and uh, they mix it up with muscle, but however, it's, it's not muscle, it's more so inflammation. You try some of these dieting techniques and changing the way you eat and hopefully uh, it will cause the inflammation to go down and you will see your weight start to decrease as well. So um, I hope this helps somebody out. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments below. And uh, I'll try to answer them as quick as I can. Always remember that your health is very important because we're all in this for longevity. Know that I love you and I will see y'all on the next video.